Good morning, everybody. Sandy Parker from Lighten Up Global. And uh, I want to give you an update about what's been going on. So, you know, I'm 61 years old. And I've been working with a coach to um, determine what is my sole purpose. What am I on the planet to do? And I've known for a long time it had to do with uh, supporting women, serving women, uh, teaching women how to live, um, how to live their vibrant life, be themselves out loud. Um, and so I've been working on how to actually fine tune that so I know how to explain it to people. Because when I say, you know, I want to help women to live their lighter, brighter life, uh, you know, it doesn't really make sense to a lot of people. Um, hey, Twyla. Hey, Dara. Hey, Jim. Uh, anyway, so here's what I do. I create and curate expenses for expenses. That's hilarious. I create and curate experiences for women where they can regain their vitality and live a life without regrets. Because first of all, uh, I was talking with a woman yesterday and when she said this, it was like, God, we do this. We actually hold back who we are and stay small and, and try not to, you know, rub anybody wrong or, you know, stir anybody up. Well, so what if what you have to say is actually a bold statement? I'm here to tell you that I'm on the earth to tell you to live right now. And that's not what people, you know, always want to hear. You, you start to say, well, maybe you can do that. Or, and they go, oh, no, no, I got limits. I got limits I'm really sure of. <laughs> and you're like, okay, I'll fight you over it. But the truth of it is staying small and holding back so you can be small enough to cause a ruckus Oh, it's so painful. And so um, I know that my mission on the planet is to serve women. And I'm going to curate and create experiences where they can regain their vitality and live a life without regrets. So as with creating anything, originally it might be an idea. It might be a hunch. Then it might sort of resonate in your heart. You're like, you know what? That sounds like, that sounds good. So I'm in a situation like that where uh, I'm designing a program and I feel so good about it and so sure about it. And I know that it will really touch people and, uh, and really help them just have some perspective. So, uh, you know, with plans, you start out and then uh, there, there seems to be concepts that are always floating around. Like I had a meeting with one lady and I said, you know, honestly, I'm doing this because it's in my heart to do this. And in the back of my mind is sort of this business BS that goes, you don't just tell somebody your heart. You don't do business from your heart. That's not what you do. And then I'm like, who told you that? <laughs> so I'm kind of arguing with myself. And so what I've come to know is I have a very uh, good lizard brain. And you have one too. And what its job is, is to protect us and keep us safe. And one of the ways it does that is by freaking us out so much, we back off of our plans. We go, oh yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. And, and if you notice that through steps... You know, you'll take a step and then you sort of go through that, uh, what if, what if, what if, you know, that lizard brain. Ah, And then you go, no, I'm staying in my heart. I know this is my truth. I'm aligned with it and I'm going to go. Then you take another step and then, of course, you're going to run into these concepts. Concepts about yourself concepts about uh, what the world wants, concepts about what people will pay, concepts about what you deserve. Yeesh, oh my gosh, there's so many concepts. <laughs> I'm tired of concepts. I'm ready to live. Yeesh. Anyway, so I've, I've started designing two programs that I feel really good about, fantastic about. And one of them is called She Rocks. Uh, we did it before, and it's a two-day workshop where women come, and we form a team so strong no one can fail. 
and we look through songs we know, and we pick out songs, and on day two, we actually perform a rock and roll show. Ah! So, a couple of things happen. First of all, you know, uh, Tony Robbins has fire walking. We have rock and roll. There's nothing like needing to perform tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock to get you out of your self, get over yourself, and start getting on with the task because we really don't have time to collapse. We have to pick out our songs, practice our songs, who's going first, build a show. It's going to be tomorrow. And it's so exciting because what happens when you surrender to creativity, when you surrender to being in this group, and you surrender to this task that is going is going to happen tomorrow. In fact, one of the ladies from She Rocks last time, she didn't even sing. And she didn't really know what she was getting into. She, she was going to come for one hour. Anyway, she came. She stayed the two days. She played the tambourine. Her life totally changed. Just because she showed up. Just because she committed herself to something she doesn't always do. And when you do that, you hold on to each other because you need the support of each other. And what you find is being together is everything. Doing something you didn't think you could do, like fire walking, is um, it's a tremendous learning that you can do a lot of things you didn't think you could do. So anyway, She Rocks is coming in September. If you want to go to lightenupglobal.com, click under events and you'll see She Rocks. Anyway, She Rocks is coming up in September. And then another thing that is going to happen in September, all my plans are like hitting now, is a program called Wishing Well, The Wishing Well. And so actually what uh, I'm encouraging women to do is, first of all, look in their heart and say, okay, what does my heart really want? I mean, I'm living today like I lived yesterday and I'm probably going to live tomorrow. Stop for a minute and just say, what does my heart really, really, really want? I mean, these are my life days and they're going by my days, my hours, and am I spending them the way that I want to live a life like? This is my life. Am I just, am I living it or am I just going through it? So the wishing well the first thing you do is you actually decide on something you wish for. You know, here's another place where we play small. So what do we do is we go, ooh, I'd like to have a wish. I'd like to travel the world. And then you go, yeah, but. And so immediately we minimize it. We go, yeah, but. And we bring down these wishes of our life to small enough that we can imagine it. It's so painful to be small. Anyway, uh, I have a wish. I have a wish to have a one-woman show. Not because I want to have a one-woman show, ego-wise. It's because I have some things to say. And I have some things to say that I know are going to touch women. And I, I've seen it. Uh, you know, I don't know how I'm inspirational. I mean, people tell me that all the time. And I actually have given up understanding it because all I know is that it's what I'm on the earth to do. So my question is, what are you on the earth to do? What would be perfect for you right now? What if if you could if money were no object and you just let your heart go crazy great, what would it be? Um you gotta hold on to that information and you got to surround yourself with people that support you in wishing. Gosh, mothers and women and men, I mean, all of us do this, but I see women serving everybody else. But the notion they would say, what's perfect for me right now, is like inconceivable. So, two programs I have coming. She rocks. Let's be rock stars instead of playing small show up, be ourselves, put our heart on the line, gain the support of other people, and have a fantastic experience. And then the Wishing Well is an evening performance, an hour and a half show with stories and music and entertainment that inspires. 
And so uh, I actually want to, I guess, ask your support, really. If you live in a town, or it, here we go, if you have customers that you would like to appreciate, then what I do is I come to your town, we found, find a few other sponsors at a very low cost, we host an event for women, like 50 women. They have a great time, and then they leave with um, affirmations and wishes and support from their local community. So enough of all that. I'm going to close by reading something. So these have been my thoughts all morning, right? I want to live my purpose. I'm all in, and then I'm fighting my lizard brain. What are you thinking? That's not the way you do business. People aren't going to pay you to share your heart, you know? Hey. Anyway, the lizard brain is real, the heart is real. And so right after those thoughts, I go to Facebook for a minute and I check in and there is Kyle Seeks who posted this today and it was like it was written for me. So I'm just going to read you a part of it because it touched me so much. He says, check this out, stay in your heart. Let the people who don't align with your deepest truth leave immediately. You don't have the energy to hold the weight of the heavy parts of the world. It exists, but you're doing a disservice by fighting everything. You're making it heavier by resisting it. You're putting your head in the sand by fighting it. You're ignoring what you actually are. Oh, that touched me so much. He says, the world depends on your truth more than you will ever be able to see from here. Don't hold on to the weight of the world. Disconnect from the insanity of the mass consciousness. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I want to do that. Instead, hold on to your truth and change the world. The world needs you in meditation, creativity, love, expansion, inner peace. We need your anchor and reminder of what is really true. We need your services we need you. Oh, isn't that amazing? You can be an example and live a much more stress-free and impactful life. Then other people can do the same and drop their addictions. Uh, people will become healthier, compassionate, and helpful. So here's the bottom line. Shift your focus to what you are. And then... Watch how the world starts to change. Who cares what they say about you? It's easier to say than feel, but the truth of it is, if I'm aligned with my purpose, why do I care what they say? This is my life. These are my minutes. This is my day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, they have no idea what you're about to show them by embodying your truth and reminding them who they really are. So that's what I want to do for you today, is actually remind you, Chip and Skylar and Stephen and Kevin and Thomas and all of you, you are so precious and on this planet to do something remarkable. And I know how easy it is to start out and then run into your lizard brain and then start out and then go, oh, I don't know. I actually freak out sometimes when I put the PayPal button on things. I go, who am I kidding? Anyway, here's the bottom line. This is your life. Follow your bliss. I love the, what uh, Joseph Campbell says when he says, follow your bliss. And walls will open where there once were doors. Here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to go to lightenupglobal.com. I'd like for you to click on the button that says, yes, I want to lighten up. Why? Because I want you to connect to me. Why? Because the world needs all of the light workers united together to change the world. I, I need your help. We need you. You need me. We need to work together to change the vitality um, and life without regrets that so many people need. So join me in my cause to lighten up the world and um, love you, bless you, and uh, thank you for being with me today. Mwah.